Make your point on the news hour. Join Arnav every night on the news hour with your question. Ask your question and join the debate. Way back in the 70s when the martial law government was there and they were practicing a, a communal religious fanatic politics uh, in the country. At that time, uh, when the uh, uh, collaborators of the 1971 liberation war, collaborators of Pakistan, especially the religious fanatic party Jamaat Islami and, and Chhatra Shibir, they were inducted into the body politics in the late 70s by General Zia Rahman. So up to 80s, uh, there was a link between the Pakistan intelligence network ISI, who actually became a go-between between the Bin Laden, Taliban groups and Al-Qaeda groups and many e, Jamaat Islami e, members and cadres were smuggled to Afghanistan at that time and they came back as a trained person. So they were uh, then started a covert military organizations in the country. Many of them has been uh, uh, neutralized and many of them have been arrested now in custody waiting the sentences to be executed and they are known uh, trained persons in Pakistan and and Afghanistan. But after that, uh, in the 90s and uh, the uh, our new century, uh, we don't have that information that the Bangladeshi uh, 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 religious fanatics are having any organizational link with IS, neither with Al-Qaeda, neither with the Taliban at the moment. But, but there is a big but. The Pakistani government is still patronizing Jamaat Islami, the war criminals, the terrorists, and the Pakistani network covertly is trying to finance and with arms and other things. So we have full evidence because of that uh, the, the, the Pakistani diplomats have been time and again deported from the country for that uh, 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 bad activities against the government. So, uh, but uh, the uh, persons who are now attacking the bloggers, uh, Hindu priests, Muslim peers, uh, at the moment the, almost every cases have been detected and every person, except one or two cases, they are under custody now. So they are waiting to be placed before the court. So we don't have any evidence as yet, as such today, any foreign connections. But you were saying that Pakistan is fishing in troubled waters in Bangladesh. And this relates to not perhaps this incident only, but to a wider uh, stream of people there is an influence of the Pakistani government, is what you're saying. It was definitely there in the past, and you're saying that there is a possibility again of a revival of that. Well, there is a... Uh, uh, no, the possibility is politically zero, because uh, uh, we are voted to power by overwhelming war vote in 2008. Uh, the Sheikh Hasina and her alliance, I'm an alliance partner also. So the government of the Grand Alliance is voted to power by the people and they rejected the communal, uh, communal religious uh, politics and they opted to voting for the trial of the war criminals. So politically they are being uh, cornered but Pakistan still as you said they are fishing they, are, they have a tendency to fish in the troubled waters. So Pakistan as in the past with the military governments used to play a proxy war here from here to against India Sheikh Hasina's government has stopped all cross-border terrorism. We are friends of India and India, Bangladesh is also friends of them. 